to the class of 2020. We've made it. This is our graduation. It would have been impossible to predict how our senior year was going to end back in September. We all started the year full of anticipation of homecoming, college applications, AP test, prom, senior awards, and of course, graduation. Since that time, Things have been replaced with social distancing, Google Meet, and online celebrations. Everyone faces adversity at some point in their lives. For some of us, this is the first time we've had to grapple with rapid change, restrictive rules, and the need to adapt at a moment's notice. For others in the class of 2020, this is just one adversity in a long list of challenges that you've needed to overcome to earn your high school diploma. Regardless of how we got here, one fact remains. We've made it. We have made it. We have made it. We are members of the Parker High School class of 2020. This is no small accomplishment and something that no one can take away from us. Diplomas are not given. They are earned. Over the past three months, we have seen our whole world change. Despite that, we have remained focused on the one goal, and we will recognize that goal today. We have earned the privilege of having a high school diploma we are the class of 2020. We are the class of 2020. We are the class of 2020. This isn't how any of us want to celebrate our graduation. We all obviously wanted to walk the stage. We all wanted the silly string. And we all wanted to be together to celebrate our special day. While that isn't possible right now, it doesn't take away from the pride that we should all feel for a job well done. The Parker High School class of 2020 is strong, resilient, and going to overcome this challenge and many others. This is our, this is our, this is our, our graduation. This is our graduation. This is our graduation. As the principal of George S. Parker High School, I am pleased to certify that the students that we are about to recognize have met the requirements set forth by the Wisconsin Department of Instruction and the School District of Janesville to earn a high school diploma. Having met these requirements, it's my pleasure to confer on each of them the honor of being a member of the George S. Parker High School Class of 2020. Hello, Class of 2020, as well as faculty, relatives, and friends. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Bria McDade. As the youngest of four siblings, I've seen my fair share of high school graduations, but mine always seemed so far away. Well, here we are. Now it's our turn to begin our journeys outside of the walls of Parker High School. Our senior year has ended in a way that nobody would have expected. We were unable to experience the final high school memories that many graduates cherish. But today is not about remembering what we've lost and instead celebrating everything we've gained in our four years at Parker. The knowledge, the memories, and the friendships we'll be leaving with. We all began our journey freshman year incredibly unsure of what the next few years meant for us. We are now facing a similar question as we move into what many call adult life, whether that means college, the military, or the workforce. Here is where life begins to take us down many different paths. None of our lives will look the same as we enter the real world, but no matter where life takes us, we are all connected because of the time we shared at Parker High School. While we are responsible for creating our own paths, all of us have and will encounter people and experiences that impact our lives, whether it be for just a short period of time or forever. Some of us here will be a part of each other's lives for several years after high school, while some of us were only meant to be in each other's lives for these few years. But no matter what friends we leave with, Parker High School as a whole has given us an experience that has changed all of our lives forever. We are all graduating as different people than we began as. We entered as children, we are leaving as young adults with passions and dreams that will lead us down our future paths to where we are meant to be. As we begin our lives outside of high school, we must all understand one important thing. We are allowed to make mistakes. I'm sure that we have all felt the pressure at some time from those around us or even ourselves to be the best we can be at as many things as possible. Many of us reached for the highest grades and the highest test scores, join multiple clubs and honor societies, and perhaps even balance sports on top of all of that in the pursuit of this perfection that is so valued in today's world. But our future successes will not result from being perfect and doing everything right. 
True success comes from making mistakes, acknowledging and taking responsibility for those mistakes, and then learning from them. If we live in fear of making mistakes and disappointing those around us, we'll never achieve our personal goals. As young adults, this is a time in our lives where mistakes are inevitable. We have to be gentle with ourselves and understand that mistakes do not make us any less deserving of success or happiness. No matter what struggles you encounter as you move forward, don't allow yourself to dwell on them, but instead, continue moving forward towards success and enjoy the beauty of your journey through life. In the words of ethics lecturer Michael Josephson, take pride in how far you've come, have faith in how far you can go, but don't forget to enjoy the journey. Congratulations, Parker High School Class of 2020. We did it. Now let's go show the world what we can do. Hi, everyone. I'm Sam Knopes, and I am one of many valedictorians here at Parker High School. Ever since I realized I had to give this speech, I dreaded it for fear of speaking in front of so many people. However, now that the world has all but ended, I find myself having gotten exactly what I thought I wanted in that now I have to give this speech in front of a camera, free to mess up and re-record as I please. I guess I've learned to be careful of what I wish for because now I just wish I was sweating over delivering this to all of you in person. We are all abundantly aware of the effects this pandemic has had on our lives, and although I'm sure you've all heard more than you cared to about it, I think it would do us all some good to acknowledge its role in the journeys we're all currently embarking on. I can't speak for all of you, but part of what kept me going through high school trying to get the best grades possible was the promise of an eventual ceremony to celebrate how well I did. Looking back on that now, I can't help but see how shallow that really is. It was the indulgence of the ceremony and the praise itself I was after, sometimes even more so than the actual education. When everything began to shut down due to the pandemic, I was deeply upset at the prospect of losing all the end of the year events I had looked forward to for so long. I felt robbed of things like a live graduation, a senior awards night, and honestly, even the delivery of this speech in person. However, if there's one thing I've taken away from the chaos of all this, it's that these ceremonies are superficial and ultimately only serve to give some sort of external reward for the hard work we've done. Really, what is the value of a valedictorian medal set aside from the education and experience I've earned from my time here? Alone, it's nothing, a mere physical representation of that hard work that I can hold in my hand and boast about. I'm certainly not saying that it is a bad thing to give students a trophy or hold a live ceremony to commemorate and honor their achievements. What I am saying is that those things are not some linchpin that holds together the high school experience. While I wanted nothing more than to have a normal senior year, I think I will go on with my life just as happy and with just as fond memories of high school as someone who did get to experience those traditions. And sure, we may still have a graduation ceremony, albeit a little later than usual, but that in no way detracts from the realizations I've made during these last few months of uncertainty. I suppose the message I'm ultimately trying to convey with this speech simply aligns quite well with that of the phrase, it's the journey, not the destination that matters. I want to start off by congratulating my fellow graduates. We have all worked so hard to get to this point. I would also like to thank all of the parents, teachers, and friends who have shown us nothing but support, especially during these hard times. It truly means the world. As we prepare to go our separate ways, it's unfortunate we were unable to have many of our lasts. Our last sports season, our last school dance, our last days as students at Parker High School. I always pictured myself on the last day of school walking out the doors one last time. I think it's fair to say that we were all devastated when we got the news that everything was canceled. But we still have so much to be grateful for. I know it's cliche, but it's funny how most things that are cliche are also true. The fact that we ever had something that we now miss is truly amazing. And even though we sometimes complained about school, there were so many things that made it special to us. All of the friends and teachers we got to know, the activities, the clubs, the spirit days, the sporting events, these are the things that made our time at Parker enjoyable. Without these things, our high school experience wouldn't have been the same. Imagine hearing that the rest of the school year was canceled and all of us rejoicing. Wouldn't that be depressing? Now, I'm not saying you don't have the right to be upset, but be grateful for all of the people you've had the privilege of meeting and the things that you got to do. Those memories are something that no one can take away from you. While our high school journey may be over, there are still many future journeys to embark on, careers to pursue, families to be started, places to go. The future is yet to be written, and there are endless opportunities to be discovered. Sometimes it's easier just to let things happen and do what others expect of you but don't be afraid to deviate a little. Embark on your journey and make it your own. 
The fact is that you are here right now and you have what you have, so work with it. Take control of the present and don't let time spent reminiscing on the past take away from your future. Be proud of how far you've come on your journey and know that this is not your final destination. Thank you. Good afternoon, Parker High School, class of 2020. Before I begin my speech, I would like to first thank my parents, friends, and teachers who have all, in one way or another, contributed greatly to both my character and academic achievement. William Jennings Bryan once said, destiny is not a matter of chance, but a matter of choice. It is not a thing to be waited for, it is a thing to be achieved. I realized in preparing this speech that a journey requires both a starting point and an ending point. And this ending point will affect your next journey starting point, which will influence that ending point, and it just turns into a sort of domino effect. In other words, what you decide to do today will affect both where you start and what you can do tomorrow. This relates back to the quote I just mentioned in that the compounded effects of achievement in today's journey will, affect, will have a positive effect in your overall career and life. I think that these past few months in and of themselves have been a unique type of journey that every single one of us has been on. The uncertainty that we find ourselves in regarding our next journey is heightened because of the strange, unknowable future of this pandemic. However, as is evident in all of us graduating today, the uncertainty that arose from the spontaneity of COVID-19 did not overpower our steadfast allegiance to the high school journey we started four years ago. We all made the choice to finish the school year. We all made the choice to complete our assignments. And through those choices, we, the class of 2020, have completed our high school journey. Granted, we have been faced with challenges throughout high school and choices we made freshman, sophomore, and junior year have equally contributed to our success and ability to stand here now. But the lessons and experience we have received from this coronavirus journey will be both practical and useful to remember when unpredictability arises in the future. So we have all finished our high school journey that unfortunately overlapped with a surreal coronavirus journey. We now find ourselves at the starting point of our next journey. For some of us, that next journey is college. For others, it's the military or the workforce. Whatever your next journey is, remember the feeling you have today at having completed high school. May we never forget that the choices we made following the starting point of freshman year determined the, determine the scholarships, internships, and opportunities we now find available to us at the ending of senior year. The ending point of your next journey is almost entirely dependent upon the choices you make in between now and then. In my unbiased and humble opinion, the class of 2020 is one of the best equipped groups of people to not only improve their own lives, but also the lives of those around them. Thank you all for embarking on this challenging yet beneficial journey with me. If our performance over the last four years is any indication of future behavior, I suspect we will all succeed in life's upcoming journeys. Congratulations and God bless. Thank you for all taking the time to do this today. I know that under different circumstances, I would be able to see all of your lovely faces, and I look forward to being reunited with all of you. My journey at Parker started the year before I actually attended the school when my brother first arrived as a freshman. I have always looked up to him, and I was so proud to see him in the Parker band at the homecoming game in his uniform. I remember being incredibly scared of attracting any attention to myself as I was scared of all the high schoolers nearby, and I couldn't imagine what it would be like to join them in the year to come. I then was first introduced to the halls of Parker in doing my first musical with the school district, Carousel. I had never heard of the show, but the Parker musical program was magical in my mind, and I couldn't wait to join in the fun. Throughout my years, I have been able to portray many quirky characters, but the reason why I enjoyed playing these characters seemed just out of reach, but I hope I can explain it to you now. I know I could never be an 18th century Scottish milkmaid or a beautiful mermaid princess or, thank God, a wardrobe, but it would change my understanding of the emotions that these musical theater characters harbored. The feelings that I cannot see reveal the true nature of the characters as their true drive is never revealed on the page. The greatest gift in this world is experiencing different perspectives and versions of the human experience. I use stories to deepen my understanding of the world and the people around me, no matter how far-fetched a story may be. How would I feel if I were to experience that heartbreak, or if I knew this person, or if I lived in that world, or if I could just escape my life for a day? 
Through these thoughts, it is easy to see why I am drawn to musical theater. I not only get to experience the emotion that the composer has woven into every piece, but I get to momentarily become the character that must experience the incredible events of the show. I am not myself anymore the second I step onto the stage. My life would be drastically different if I had not discovered the art of musical theater. It allows me to always try and find meaning in the actions of all people in the hopes of understanding and connecting to the world around me. For the longest time, I could not explain to you why I loved being on stage, but now I know why. The shyness I experienced as an eighth grader sitting in the stands at my brother's first homecoming game, all the way to taking my final bow on the Parker stage, I want to understand all the people in the world around me. I hope that in my future, this fascination will allow me to be more selfless and perceptive, always seeking to understand others and do my best to support them. I hope that all of my fellow classmates today seek to do the same thing as they leave the halls of Parker. This crazy new world that we live in will never stop growing and changing, but what will always remain is our ability to help others and display kindness to all. I hope that all of you strive to understand all of the quirky characters in your lives as we enter a changed world. The mental journeys through quarantine and the physical journeys through this illness have affected us all incredibly differently. And a society of understanding and kindness will be the first step in the healing of both our community and wherever each of us choose to go in the future. Be a beacon of hope and light. And remember that every day is a great day to be a Parker Viking. Resilience, the capacity to recover quickly from difficulties. Toughness. The graduating class of 2020 will be remembered for many things. However, resilience will be our legacy. Online learning, social distancing, safer at home initiative, these are all things we never thought we'd ever hear, let alone live. I'm Bailey Pajerski, and if there's one thing I know, through all of this craziness, I'm confident that I, along with all of my senior classmates, will get through this and be stronger because of it. As we continue this journey we call life, we laugh, we cry, and we celebrate. Through it all, we grow as people and hopefully take away life lessons that will help shape our future. Building relationships in high school is what brought me the most laughter and joy. In life, I have learned that if you're not laughing, you're crying, so might as well spend a lot of my time laughing. Making friends, those people you immediately search for when walking into a school or a sporting event, has created some of my best high school memories. Running out onto the soccer field, swinging a golf club, laughing with friends at prom and homecoming, these are all the times I will always hold close. I know earlier I said, if you're not laughing, you're crying, but sometimes even I forgot to laugh first. I'm sure many of you know how it feels to be overwhelmed because there's just so much going on. Sports, classes, clubs, it was difficult at times to balance. However, looking back, I wouldn't change a thing. We had the opportunity to be a part of something and make a difference. I don't know of another class that had so much compassion or was so accepting of one another. I hope all of us continue to share these qualities with the world. As we all know, everybody is somebody at Parker. I would like to thank all the people who made our journey through high school meaningful, fun, and exciting. Teachers, administrators, and all of our family members helped us through this crazy journey of high school. We wouldn't have been able to do it without each of you. Now it's time for celebration. We had our time to laugh and cry, We've survived, persevered, and been resilient through our entire high school career. And today, instead of thinking about the uncertainty of the future, let's take some time to be present, here, now, and celebrate our accomplishments. It doesn't matter what falls in the path on your journey, focus on the good and good things will come. In the words of Michael Jordan, obstacles don't have to stop you. If you run into a wall, don't turn around and give up. Figure out how to climb it, go through it, or work around it. After all, it's our journey that teaches us about our destination, who we are, and who we want to become. Resilience is what we are made of. Congratulations, class of 2020. Success is a journey, not a destination. The doing is often more important than the outcome. This quote was made by Arthur Ashe, a famous African-American tennis player and political activist. Arthur faced a lot of adversity and struggles, including two bypass surgeries, brain surgery, and developing AIDS from a blood transfusion. 
Arthur achieved a lot of firsts in his time. He was the first African American to win men's singles at Wimbledon and the U.S. Open, and the first African American man to be ranked number one in the world. As a political activist, Arthur used his prior success to create inner city tennis programs for youth and spoke out against apartheid in South Africa. Arthur's life wasn't easy. He found his success through the struggles he went through and used them to learn and improve. He found how much more important his doings were to him than the success he received in return. As I reflect on Arthur's words, I realize how truly relevant it is to us during this time. Each of us have faced different struggles, but we have also had many successes. The fact that we have all made it to this point here at graduation is a major success and something that we will never forget for the rest of our lives. I know that this may not have been the way that we had planned graduation to be, but ultimately our perseverance through everything up to this point has led us here. Even though graduation is the pinnacle of our high school career, it probably isn't going to be one of the events we treasure the most. What we will remember the most are the sporting events, the concerts and musicals, the early morning meetings or practices, the dances, and the school trips. These are memories that are filled with so many different emotions from excitement, happiness, and laughter to frustration, stress, and probably some tears. But above all else, what we will remember and appreciate the most are the friends, family, and teachers that have helped and encouraged us along the way. I know that I wouldn't be speaking here today if it wasn't for the many hours of help and never-ending encouragement from my parents, teachers, and friends. As I faced both struggles and successes on my journey to this point, these people have never stopped supporting me. With their help, I've been able to learn from my failures and successes, and this journey is what has made me who I am today. I know that some of you may be able to relate to my journey in some way, but a lot of you cannot. We have all faced different challenges and obstacles. That is your journey. The people and events that make up your journey will impact you for the rest of your life, but it is what you learn from them that will help you the most as you continue your journey beyond Parker High School. One thing we have learned is resilience, something many other graduating classes haven't necessarily had to learn. As we continue on our journeys, our resilience will help us to overcome more obstacles and achieve more successes just like Arthur Ashe. Finally, as you reflect on your journey to this point and move into the future, my hope is that you too will find that your doings are truly more important than the outcomes because it isn't necessarily about the destination, it's about the journey. Thank you and congratulations, Class of 2020. I can't wait to see where our journeys take us. Good afternoon. It is with great honor that I'm able to address my fellow classmates and our guests who have come to celebrate our accomplishments with us. I would like to thank all of our family, friends, coaches, teachers, and administration who have helped us thus far in life. Without them, none of us would be sitting here today. All of us have had to face our own journeys and experiences in life, but as the year 2020 started, I don't think any of us thought our high school experiences would end up like this. I remember walking into school each day with a number of days left of high school in my head, not knowing that day was much closer than I or any of us thought it really was. This, the week before everything got canceled, I remember I was planning for prom. Looking back now, I'm glad I procrast procrastinated and hadn't bought a dress yet, and I was planning for my senior season of softball. I'm sure most of you were doing the same. When we all walked out the doors on March 13th, getting ready for the home stretch of high school and laughing about the new bathroom policy that was put into place, none of us thought it'd be the last time we were all in Parker together. As a class, we are the definition of resilient. We came into this world at a time of 9-11, and in, now we are ending our high school journey and possibly starting the next phase of our lives in the middle of a global pandemic. We have grown up in uncharted territory. No one knew how to handle the attacks on the morning of September 11, and no one knows what to do now. We've not only experienced negative, scary, terrifying events like this, we've also grown up in an ever-evolving world. We have grown up in a world of notifications and updates. We are the first generation that grew up with this much technology. I mean, I wrote this speech on my school Chromebook and no other generation can say that, and I think that's pretty remarkable. As a class and as a generation, we have been able to adjust and change on the fly. And this ability that we have to adjust in the blink of an eye makes us just that much more resilient and remarkable. From the time we picked up that crayon in kindergarten, we have been following and paving the way for our own journey. 
Some of us took the scholar journey, taking all AP classes and staying up all night to study for that AP bio test the next day. Others took the athlete journey, having no off season and hitting the gyms every day, getting ready for the next game or the next season. Some took the music journey, spending countless of hours in the Lodge Auditorium, practicing their solo or tap dance for the next show that was sure to be great. And some others even took the work journey, getting a job freshman year or even earlier to support themselves or help around the house. Some took multiple journeys, the student athlete or the working student, and some may have taken a journey that I failed to mention. But one thing is for sure, no matter the difference in our journeys that we've taken over the past 18 years, we all have ended as graduates of the class of 2020. As this ceremony and our high school journey comes to an end, the journey of the rest of our lives is just beginning. Some of us are taking the journey to the big place called college where we may be biting off more than we can chew. Some of us may be going into the military to serve our country, and I cannot thank you enough for your service. Some may be going right into the workforce and making money, and some may have no idea what they're gonna do when they move the tassel. But one thing is for sure, we will all go on to do something great. Our class is made for greatness. What we've gone through in the past 18 years have made us prepared for whatever may happen next. And as we go on to our new journeys, never forget the teachers that helped you get here. Never forget the friends you made when you walked in the Parker High School doors. But most importantly, never lose yourself along the way. Don't stop believing, Class of 2020. Thank you and congratulations. The advice that I would give my January 2020 self would be to get my tattoo that I wanted on my birthday instead of wait until April. The coronavirus is coming and we need to get prepared for it. <laughs> to spend the last few months of senior year with all my friends. I would tell myself to take more pictures. One useful skill I've learned in quarantine is that mowing the grass can be the highlight of your day. Learn how to drive a manual car. I'm learning how to play new songs playing my bass guitar. Origami.
what's the first thing you're gonna do when quarantine is over? I am gonna hug my friends. I'm gonna go over to a friend's house that I haven't seen since quarantine started. Probably work. I'm gonna go out to dinner with my family and go to a ton of movies and eat some sushi. After graduation, I plan on going to Roosevelt University, Chicago College of Performing Arts. Project Search. I'm going to be attending UW-Whitewater at Rock County. Probably college in Minnesota, Twin Cities, um, studying computer science. As soon as quarantine gets over, one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Wisconsin Dells. I plan on getting a haircut. To hang out with friends. Get a job. If I had a time machine, I would tell my January 2020 self to turn in her homework on time. You know, live it up before you get put in quarantine, young man. Buy as much hand sanitizer and Clorox while it's still in stores. To make the most of the next few months and live every moment like it's my last. Teachers that had the biggest impact on me were Miss Austin and Miss Pratt. Um, their class was always the most fun, even when it was math. It was Madame Bay because she not only taught me French three years in a row, but she made sure that we always had fun and I always felt the most comfortable and safe in her classroom. Miss Geralds for helping me out when I didn't want to do anything. Freshman year in English. Jan Knudsen and Megan Burkhart have made the biggest impact on my life throughout high school.
if I had a time machine, what advice would I give myself? It would be to just do the homework. I just tell myself to enjoy being in the classroom more. Is to not worry as much as you do and to just continue going on with life. I also would tell myself to not buy that prom dress because I want to save myself a ton of money. What I'm going to do after quarantine is over is probably travel, maybe somewhere down south or Washington, D.C. Spend time with boyfriend and grandparents. What I'm going to do when quarantine's over is chill with the pros. graduation I'm planning on going to um, Blackout Tech to be a mechanic and I'm also I'm looking forward to being a city bus driver here in Janesville and I'm going to be working for the uh, Janesville Transit System. After graduation I plan to attend UW-Whitewater to study marketing and also swim on the women's swim team. Go Warhawks! Uh, hopefully college. College football. I'm leaving for the United States Air Force on July 14th. The job I will be doing is cyber systems operations. useful skill I learned has just gotten way better at Call of Duty. It is how to cut my hair during quarantine and make it look kind of nice. How to crochet. Safety and patience. After graduation, I plan to go to UW Green Bay to study English, creative writing, and general education along with psychology. I plan on going to UW Whitewater in the fall and majoring in biology and getting on the pre-professional track for physical therapy. Go to college. Gonna probably get a job for a semester and then 
go to college. graduating college and also getting ready to start my career. Getting the dream job of my life and also getting the dream house. I see myself teaching preschool kids. In 10 years I see myself as a homeowner, debt free, and you know a computer programming job. Reaching my goal of being a city bus driver here in Jamesville. Graduating college and possibly already being a teacher. In five years, I see myself getting out of undergrad and maybe going on to graduate school. And in 10 years, hopefully, I have a career at a zoo. Continuing to learn basic living skills and working. Oh, I see myself being a DNR warden. And in 10 years, I see myself doing the same stuff. Probably just working at a tech company. And then 10 years, probably trying to get into politics.
One useful skill that I learned is to be patient and to be positive in times like these. I've learned how to sleep for 24 hours straight. Is to love myself more. Patience. Rubik's Cube solving and reading. After graduation, I'll be attending Concordia University, Wisconsin. I chose Black Hawk Te Technical College for law enforcement. I am going to UW Milwaukee for conservation and environmental science. I'm going to UW Madison to study computer science and economics. There has been two teachers that made a big impact in my life, Mrs. Lang and Mr. Beaster. They were the ones that showed the most interest in what I was capable of, and they always pushed me to be more and do more. Ms. Deese for helping me with all my assignments and making sure I stayed on top of everything, and then Ms. Eastman for being there as like a second mom and like helping me when I needed help or whatnot. Mr. Newborn, Mr. Utech, and Jeff Dutman and Mr. Mrs. Brown. that's probably made the biggest impact on my life is Mr. Getka, my computer science teacher. Mrs. Knudsen taught me how to sing, brought out my love for theater, and so did Megan. And those were the two like biggest safe places to go during school if I was having trouble with a class or if I just needed somebody to talk to. Both of them are always available. Diener, Van Gelder, Meister. Mrs. Lee gave me a really um, good look behind the scenes of what a job is really going to be like. There was a teacher that made an impact on me and it was Miss Moore.
where do you see yourself in five years, 10 years? On stage, acting, singing, dancing. Living it up without college debt. House married and good career. I'm gonna miss all my friends at Parker High School. Performing on a stage in Chicago. Fresh out of college, probably working an internship somewhere. Still being in college and having an apartment. And in 10 years, I see myself finally being in a steady job and owning a house. Advice I would give myself in January would be not to complain about school. Appreciating teachers and um, education. To invest all my money in biotech stocks. The first thing I'm going to do when I get out of the quarantine is hang out with a bunch of people. Because I miss my friends. Contact my friends. Go shopping. Hang out with all my friends and eat inside of a restaurant. After graduation, I plan on attending UW-La Crosse and pursuing a degree in business management. Uh, MATC Madison for veterinary technician and women's soccer. I'm going to go to Blackhawk Tech. What's one useless or useful skill you've learned during quarantine? I learned how to make a bomb bowl of ramen noodles. Mm, cooking. Is how to sprecher de Deutsch or speak German. And I've also taught myself a SL.
Is there a teacher who made an impact on your life? There are so many teachers who made an impact on my life. The few that come to mind that I want to thank individually that I can't right now are Zarnowski, Knudsen. Mr. Gekka, he got me to go to Parker in the first place, and he really just gave me a lot of great opportunities. I wouldn't be where I am today without him. Burkhart, Huddy, Walters. Uh, Madame Bain for inspiring me to actually continue with my French education. Smalley. Callison, Lang, there are so many more that I just, I would like to thank for just guiding me through the last four years. By successfully completing the School District of Janesville's requirements for a Parker High School Diploma, Members of the class of 2020 honored in this ceremony have successfully completed their high school education and been awarded their diplomas. On behalf of the Janesville Board of Education and as your superintendent of schools, please accept my congratulations and best wishes. Congratulations, class of 2020. The tradition of moving the tassel signifies the movement from student to graduate. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce to you the Parker High School Class of 2020.